Chat GPT is the fastest growing app in history. But before you get carried away with it, it can also be a huge cybersecurity problem for your business. In today's video, we're gonna look at the top three risks that Chat GPT can have on your business. But before we start, a quick introduction as always. My name is Jonathan Edwards and my IT company is called Integral IT. We look after businesses all around the world with their Microsoft 365 and their cybersecurity. So Chat GPT was released in November 2022. And as I've just mentioned, it became the fastest growing app in history. Now, in case you don't know what ChatGPT is, it's an AI tool. So AI stands for artificial intelligence and it can create human-like text. It can be used to translate languages, answer questions, write code, and so much more. Using ChatGPT is like having a really knowledgeable assistant. Now, in our own business, we sometimes use ChatGPT to help us with technical solutions. If you're unsure of anything, we'll just type it into ChatGPT and we'll often get the right answer. Now, recently, I did a video on my YouTube channel about Microsoft 365's new AI tool, which is called Copilot. Now, as with all of these AI tools, they sound incredibly exciting. They've got a lot of potential, but they also can provide risks for your business. And that is what this video is all about. There are reasons why some of the biggest companies in the world, companies like Amazon, Bank of America, and Citigroup, have all restricted access to ChatGPT. So what are the three biggest risks of using ChatGPT in your business? Now, the first biggest risk is more sophisticated phishing attacks. Now, phishing emails are still the most common form of a cyber attack. Why? Because they work. Now, if you don't know what a phishing email is, it's when a cyber criminal will send you an email enticing you to do something. They might want you to click and open an attachment, and when you do, it puts malware onto your computer. Or they might have a link, and when you click on that link, it takes you to a bogus website, and there you enter your username and password without knowing. And before you know it, the cyber criminal has your credentials. Now, one of the biggest tools that we have in our combat against phishing emails is the fact that they're often written with bad grammar and spelling mistakes. The reason for this is because a lot of cyber criminals use English as their second language. So sometimes we can easily identify what a phishing email is. Now, ChatGPT can really help cyber criminals. It will help them write sophisticated phishing emails written in good English. I think moving forward, email security providers have to evolve. Email security software must be able to spot cold emails that have been written using AI. Now, before we talk about the second threat of using ChatGPT in your business, I just want to give a quick shout out to today's sponsors. Today's video has been kindly sponsored by my friends over at Keeper Security. Keeper Security is a top rated password manager for protecting businesses from cyber threats. It's used by millions of people globally, and it's built using zero trust security, which means it protects every user on every device. For more info, go to keepersecurity.com. And while you're there, why don't you sign up for a free business trial? Thanks again, Keeper, for sponsoring today's video. Now back onto today's content. Now the second threat of using tools like ChatGPT is that cyber criminals can use it to create malware. One great thing about AI tools such as ChatGPT is that you can complete difficult tasks more easily. It levels the playing field. But obviously this also has a downside. Cyber criminals are using tools such as ChatGPT to create malware, which can create havoc in your business. Although ChatGPT has controls in place for this type of thing, there are workarounds available. So previously, it used to be really skilled people who created malware. Now, that's not the case. They can use tools like ChatGPT, anyone can, 
to create malware. So the result of using AI tools is that we're going to end up with more skilled cyber criminals, which isn't a very good thing. Now, the third risk of using ChatGPT in your business is the exposure of sensitive information. Now, I'm sure that neither you or anyone in your business would type anything sensitive into ChatGPT. Or would you? According to cybersecurity firm Cyberhaven, who conducts cyber research, an average 100,000 user company over a period of seven days entered 199 bits of sensitive information into ChatGPT. That's a lot of sensitive information. What people don't realize is that ChatGPT uses information that you input to learn and to respond to future requests. So your inputs aren't private. So when it comes to people within your business using this tool, you've got to make sure that they're using it properly and they're not using it to input information that could hurt your business. So we talked about the risks of using ChatGPT in your business but how can you get the value of using the tool and minimize your risk? Well, here are my top tips. Firstly, don't input sensitive information. Create a policy for tools like ChatGPT in your business. Firstly, are people allowed to use it? Secondly, if they are, what are the things that they can use it for and definitely can't use it for? If you're worried that you've inputted sensitive information already, you can send an email to OpenEye and request that it's deleted from the AI database. Secondly, when it comes to these sophisticated phishing attacks, you have to double down on this cyber awareness training. Everybody in your business must be aware of what to look out for to identify a phishing email. It's basic training, but now it's an absolute must. And then thirdly, you've got to have general good cyber hygiene, strong passwords, good security software on all the devices, the things that are just basics. Now, I hope you've enjoyed this video. I look forward to seeing you again soon.